Hey everybody, I got a brand new deck. I call it the Land of Confusion, or um, the Dwarf Chain Game, G-A-I-N. The main idea here is to use Hattori to bring back Barkley Elves multiple times through decoy and um, marching orders. Gets you easy access. Now you might say, well the marching orders gets me Elven Mercenary, but that's not a big problem. We can get the Elven Mercenaries out easily. This deck thins really fast, and I might want to put in Mahakaman Guards, which are 5 strength, I believe, so that I can get um, revive them with Hattori if I need to. Mahakaman Guards have actually lost a lot of favor due to the fact that so many units um, require... Well, because the Mahakaman Defenders reset. Now you see they have a card that's going to hit my units for 6 after three turns, so I'm going to continue buffing up my, uh, what are they called, Black Mount Blue Mountain Commandos, so that they have armor to absorb that damage. One of the nice things here, oh, I, I wasn't considering the fact that um, I should be putting them all in the same row, kind of. I believe they need to... Uh, I'm not sure. I think they have to move the unit for it to get damage. I'm not sure. I have to read the description. But anyways, I'm going to keep keep splitting up my rows. You can't actually move the Blue Mountain Commandos without buffing them, which is nice. I'm only going to play the Mahakama Defenders last because any buffs I give them won't last. So, and I want to make sure all my opponent's removal is used as early as possible. So he buffed it up and only hit the four armor, uh, only damaging it really for one. Uh, the buff, I think, counteracted that, so it was a net gain for me. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. I would say Coral's really strong in this meta. If you're playing Skellige, play Coral. There's so many greedy... Scoyatel players out there that it's probably worth doing. I'm gonna move my head back and forth. Okay, uh, I win round one. The idea in round two is to kind of drain my opponent of resources. I did not get my Sheldon Skaggs until later, which is unfortunate. I don't think I'm going to pass out any of my cards. I'm going to play Marching Orders because I know it's going to pull Hattori. So, there goes Hattori. That allows me to revive Barkley Elves, which allows me to get a Yarpin. A Yarpin's outside the range of a, Zol um, a Thunder, which is great. And that was a 22-point move with a 10-point Resilient unit. Chances are Barkley Elves is going to get me a Resilient unit, but I've been kind of lucky and been getting... Um, other cards, some of these games. Oy. Lately. Like, I've been getting a lot of um, Sheldon Skaggs from my um, Barkley Elves. And I kind of plan around that. So I'm going to move my two Resilient units, and I'm going to move one of his. My general philosophy is um, damage your opponent units when you can. If you benefit from buffing your units in some other way, then do it. In this case, I want to not have as too many units on the same row uh, for the <laughs> little damage units for how many units I have on the same row kind of things. You know what I mean. Okay. Now I put Aglius on the wrong row technically if they had like a last rate, but they didn't. So it was okay. I win by five points. Against Skellige, I like winning the first two rounds. Okay, we're up against a... I think it's like a Spellatel. It's, there, there are so many different varieties of Spellatel, it's hard to pinpoint which one's which. I'm going to push out Hattori because I don't really... Hattori's a round two card for me. And I can really play Hattori a bajillion times if I wanted to. <laughs> it's that strong. I like Hattori in um, Witcher 3, by the way. Got lucky with the Sheldon Skaggs. Did uh, about 16.5 points every card that round, which is pretty good. 
Okay, uh, I have Hattori in my hand. I should probably have pushed Hattori out, but I didn't. That allows me to use Decoy twice if I wanted to. There's a lot of weird things I can do uh, with Decoy. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm getting kind of lucky with my uh, Barkley Elves is that I keep most of my bronze cards in my hand. Okay, my opponent's probably going to be playing Overdoses. I'm not going to move either my Barkley Elves or my Hattori because I want the over... Well, I could probably save my Hattori for later. Here's one of the other uses for Hattori. I could revive a, a Hakama Defender with that. It's probably not the best use of it. If I had waited, instead of using uh, Decoy on Hattori er, uh, to revive the Mahakama Defender, I could have um, brought back Barkley L's three times this game, <laughs> which would have been hilarious. Because every time, because one of the things I count on is that all these um, Spellatel players are playing Overdose now. And I can abuse the fact that it kills Barkley L's to keep reviving it because the Hattori has three base strength. So it will survive the Overdose. Not only will the decoy um, heal my Hattori, but it'll allow me to bring back Barkley L's. It's great. One of the reasons why I keep doing it. Now, my opponent has that farce here. And I'm going to, my plan here is to take advantage of the fact that they have um, figurine in their graveyard and use Aglius to uh, punish him for it. Okay. I'm not going to get a better sat, um, say Sasia. <laughs> Saskia dragon form. I'm going to call it that. <laughs> Now I get rid of their Farseer with the uh, Artifact Compression. That lowers their field strength significantly because they were really emphasizing the um, Farseers to win the game. I'm happy to just, you know, <laughs> punish them for that. Um, I could run Artifact Compression in this deck. I'm probably going to move out Saskia Dragon Forum. Uh, don't ask me to pronounce her name. <laughs> yeah. So I'm up against a hand buffing deck. That means that my Yarpin is probably going to die. I should not have played Yarpin here. Why? Because they probably have Yorveth, as I showed Cased in my previous decks. I need to get my Barkley Elves onto the board early, so I use Marching Orders to do that. This time I get uh, the Dwarf Ranger card. Going to use Zoltan to get a lot of tempo here. It's hard to compete with that. It also makes it harder for my opponent to kill them. I know that my opponent is running overdoses. They're probably going to overdose again here. Overdose was only like 17 points, so it's not it's not comparable to what I'm doing. I can't play uh, the Sage because the only card that Sage pulls in this deck is a Thunderbolt Potion, and I need to get a Thunderbolt Potion in my graveyard first. Okay. I'm fortunate that my opponent didn't do that earlier. I'm going to go with deck thinning first because I want to get more of my dwarfs onto the board. Okay, Just in case my opponent uses a thunder, I'm going to do that. This forces my opponent to use their hand buffed unit. Which is great because that means they don't have it in the next round. Ugh. Most of their power is the hand buff unit in this game. And I don't want to face that later because I'm going to have some pretty big units myself. So they're doing some more hand buffing. It's annoying, but I can live with it. Okay. I didn't know what Foul L was the first time I saw it. But it basically prolongs the game. You replace this card with another card in your deck. Which is great. Uh, if you're playing Dragoon. Because it, you want there to be more rounds. And if you're playing Fire Seers as well. So I just played pretty big turn there. That was 21 points. Something like that. Uh, no, it was, it was more than 21 points. It was 25 points. That was a 25 point round. 
Okay, I'm going to decoy Yaven because I can. Allows me to get some card advantage back for free. Since I'm not really going... I don't expect to lose this round. Okay. I'm not really going to get a chance to do that again in the future, so might as well do it now. Saskia Dragon Form is a card I'm going to probably take out of this deck. It's just not strong enough consistently. Compared to what I'll, the other points I'm getting lately. So I'm going to open up with Sheldon Skaggs. I know that if they use an Azure's Thunder on it, I can punish them. So if I use the Mandrake Potion with um, Aglius, how many points is that if I heal up my Sheldon Skaggs? I think it's 25. No, uh, 22? Yeah, I think it's 22. Because you heal by 7, then you get 6, that's 13, and then you have the 9 strength from Aglius. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think this deck is really good. You have to play around Muzzle a bit, and um, that's why you open up with the Blue Mountain Commandos, and you want to play around Yorvith if you're going against a Skoya Tail player. So you want to, again, open up with Blue Mountain Commandos and things that won't get... that it doesn't matter if Yorvith snipes them, okay? Yarpin, you don't want him to get sniped. It's pretty bad. Without, uh, and other things I might add to the deck are units that are a little lower base strength, so Hattorium can revive other cards other than just Barkley Elves. Yeah. Have a great day! No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck.